This is our facts of Mars. Unfortunately, we all know about uh, this slimy, this piece of human garbage that shot a bunch of people in uh, a church down in South Carolina. The suspect's name is Dylan Storm Roof. And apparently, he was on psychoactive drugs. He was, he was nuts. I'm getting tired of this. You know, first, this maggot goes and kills a bunch of people. Then Obama, within hours, is on TV talking about taking away our guns. The fuck? I didn't do anything. It's one disgusting, horrible, slimy, good-for-nothing maggot that did it. From what I understand, he's uh, sat there in church service for an hour, uh, Bible study, whatever. Didn't say much, and then all of a sudden, boom, 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 boom. And Obama, within hours, is on... Uh, TV and radio saying he's got to take away our guns for our own safety. No, you got to get the uh, honest citizens armed. That's what you have to do. You see, if we're all packing heat, when somebody does something like that, somebody's going to shoot his ass and stop him. Uh, I don't know why this maggot has to be kept alive for years and years at our expense. Let's give him a nice quick trial. You see them trees in the swamp there in the photo? All right. Uh, tie him to one of them, butt naked, spread on the honey, and wait for the ants to arrive. Well, as Charlie Daniels would say, let the bugs and the alligators and the uh, snakes do the rest. That's about what we need to do. As for Obama, you better not try to take away our guns. That's not going to be tolerated. We, uh, we're not the problems. People who are responsible with their guns aren't the problems. It's disgusting maggots like this. Well, why do disgusting maggots like this even exist? Well, Obama has been intentionally stirring up racial hatred. And then we wonder where someone, a disgusting maggot like this, comes from. Well, duh. You know, Obama did it with Ferguson, Baltimore. He's always stirring up racial hatred. And then you get scum like this who go and shoot people. Well, screw them. I don't, see, I don't believe that he should be allowed to suck the same air that you and I suck. I think I'm all right. I don't think he should be allowed to breathe the same air you and I breathe. Let me put it that way. So, if we don't want to tie him to a stump out there and spread on the honey and wait for that fire ants to arrive, maybe we could do something else. Let's send them to an all-black prison, put them out in the exercise yard at exercise time, and tell the guards to go take a coffee break. That would solve this problem most handily. It just makes no sense. Our policy is to take away the guns of law-abiding people, rather than try to find a way to stop maggots like this. The way you stop them is you get guns in everyone's hands who's a responsible person. Let them pack heat. I would practically require it, to be honest with you, and... Then they can stop them. Now, if you ever do get an active shooter situation, there is a weapon that's available to you in a public area. It's called the fire extinguisher. 
I know they have a very limited range, and you know, you gotta grab the pin, and then what you would do is you would aim it at the maggot's eyes. Because I guarantee you, the maggot uh, is not gonna be able to aim and shoot if you squirt a bunch of chemicals in his eyes. He's gonna be standing there howling in pain. And then you take the fire extinguisher, you hit the arm carrying the gun as hard as you can to break it. And kick the gun away. Kick his legs out from underneath him while he's sitting there howling in pain. And then you sit on him. Until the cops get there. That's what you do. But we don't have any common sense. This maggot is going to be coddled and comforted probably for decades. It makes no sense. At any rate, that's my gun control program. Get guns in the hands of good, decent, law-abiding citizens so they can stop animals, not animals, maggots like this. I'm sorry if I insulted any of the maggots out there, because I know they, at least you can be used to consume raw meat. So at least there is some use for maggots. I don't have any use for this slimy piece of human garbage. Time to a tree and spread on the honey and wait for the fire ants to arrive. I mean, come on. I'm out of facts of Mars. I'm seriously pissed. Alright? Thanks for listening.